drop me, drop me a number. And I'll I send will. you. I will send you a message. Perfect. And then we can see what happens with that message in a spontaneous way. I just thought that you looked attractive. <laughs> uh, I saw you messing about with your heels. <laughs> yeah, thought so you were gonna like stiletto me. In a rush. Or in a rush. I would like to uh, take you out for a drink. What do you say sure. to that? Yeah. Have you got an English phone number? I do. Yes, mate. How we doing? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to approach a girl on the street during the daytime and get her phone number fast. Oftentimes in busy cities, girls don't always have time to stop and chat. However, we can still make things happen with a limited time frame. So what we're gonna do, man, is I'm gonna show you three different clips of me approaching three different girls. And then we are gonna cover the three key elements that, in my opinion, go into making the perfect daytime approach. So before we get into it, make sure that you are part of the Christian Casanova family, smashing that subscribe button, banging those sexy notifications on. Don't forget to drop this video a like as well, man, because it's appreciated. Anyway, let's watch the first clip. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Right. Do, you, do you speak English? Yeah. Oh, you are English? Yeah. Oh, I was not expecting that. I, thought you, <laughs> I, I, I literally thought you were Brazilian. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah, is that a comfort? Yeah, I don't know. Well, do, you, well, do you like Brazilian girls? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Maybe. I quite like Brazilian girls now, so that's nice, isn't it? Um, I just want to say that you look lovely. Thank you. You had this uh, lovely jacket on, and this, this cool style going on. Thanks. I was like, you know what, some lady knows how to dress. Oh, thank you. Which is quite nice. <laughs> yeah. What are you up to? What are you doing? Tell, um, me, tell me your life I'm story. I'm just off to go meet a friend, actually. Oh, yeah? I'll have to go meet a friend. I can go to Instagram or something, maybe. If that's what you, yeah. Fuck, I'm just going to go, I'm literally that. meeting her in about one minute. <laughs> one minute? Yeah, I'm meeting her soon. Oh, well, yeah. well, just tell me what your name is, because I don't want to feel like a piece of meat. No, it's fine. It's Nice to meet All you. Right, my name's Christian. Nice. Drop me, drop me a number. And I'll I send will. you. I will send you a message. Perfect. And then we can see what happens with that message in a spontaneous way. We just do. You, I, if I, hey, I'm calling my own number. What's your number? I can call no, you. No, no. Just give me. Just drop me a number. Okay. Oh seven. So my name's Christian. Nice to meet You've you. Got an amazing... Do you live near here? Are you uh, East London? We'll, we'll discuss this over my ties. <laughs> Stay sexy, yeah? All right, so let's discuss the three key elements that go into the perfect daytime approach. First of all, commitment, all right? When you're going to approach a girl during the daytime, yes, it's scary. Yes, your adrenaline's high. Yes, you're thinking, fuck me, not quite sure if I can pull this off. But despite all those voices in your mind, you have to be 100% committed to the approach. Like I see it all the time when working with my clients, like they'll go into those early approaches, but they won't properly be committed to the approach. And you have to remember that going halfway with half a heart only digs a deeper grave. So if you're going to approach, be fucking committed. The second key element of the perfect daytime approach is your energy, all right? Now, look man, I get this. When people talk about energy, it can sound quite abstract, quite woo-woo, but essentially, energy refers to the fact that you're coming across as a cool, calibrated guy. Too often, guys will be approaching girls and they're giving off a weird, creepy vibe and obviously we want to avoid this. So how do we avoid this? How do we avoid coming off as creepy? Well, it's very fucking easy. You have to remember to smile, all right? Like it sounds really basic and let me tell you, it's such a game changer. When I'm working with my clients, when I'm watching them doing their approaches, maybe the approach didn't go as well as they wanted it to, I pull them up on it. I'm like, mate, try doing that again, but have a smile on your face. Now, I'm not talking about some like cheesy grin plastered across your face. No, have a warm, welcoming smile. Honestly, man, go out there, try this. Approach girls with a smile on your face. Like having a smile on your face, it puts the girl at ease. It signals to her that you're a safe, fun, welcoming guy, all right? So definitely, if you wanna get away from that creepy vibe, remember to fucking smile. All right, so before we cover the final element, we're gonna watch another clip. Excuse me, hi. Do you speak English? Yes. Are you English? Yes. Oh, that makes life a lot easier. <laughs> uh, I just saw you with your frizzy hair. <laughs> and like nice. your, no, no, not assumed anything. <laughs> just thought that you looked attractive. <laughs> Uh, I saw you messing about with your heels. <laughs> yeah, thought so you were going to like stiletto me. Are they too big? Yeah. I don't think heels can ever be too big. For <laughs> so if, uh, the bigger the heel, the, be the, the better the woman. <laughs> I just made that up on the spot. But, uh, what are you doing today? I'm actually going to a party. 
I know. Right now. <laughs> are, you, are you late for the party? Yeah. You seem like you're quite late. Yeah. All right, well, I won't keep you. This will have to be very uh, hit and run. Um, <clears throat> I think you're attractive. Thank you. What's your name? My name's Christian. Um, I feel like being spontaneous. So another time <clears throat> when my voice is back, uh, I'd actually like to take you out for a drink. You can say no if you want. No, it's fine. <clears throat> have you, you got, got a phone? I'll put my number in Do it. Do I have a phone? Why not? This, I mean, I'm not like a, a ca I'm not a caveman. I mean, I appreciate I've got I appreciate I've got a northern accent. Um, but I'm yeah. actually from the north. Which Don't part? Sound it though. Whereabouts? Manchester. Are you from Manchester? Yeah, yeah my family are. Um, okay. God, I forgot my own number then. <laughs> I hope you have a good party. Thank you. Hopefully, this has been Classic a classic me running late from work. Uh, you you know. need to charge your phone. <laughs> got a charger? <laughs> no. I'll see you later. Know. So, the final key element that goes into the perfect daytime approach is your voice. Like, I've been a magician for over 10 years. I understand the importance of voice projection. And certainly, big sticking point for my clients that they're usually not aware of until I pull them up on it is they speak too quiet. Let me tell you, if you properly harness the power of your voice, if you practice your voice projection, then it's going to allow you to get girls who are walking, even girls who are walking fast, to stop and have a conversation. Because you'll notice in these clips, I'm not doing the classic London day game of front stop, which is where you basically jump in front of girls. Like I used to do this. However, I've come to realize that it's no longer necessary. Why? Because it's all about your voice, all right? Because the voice itself, your voice is initiating the stop. You'll be able to see that in these clips. In fact, you know what? Let's watch that first one again to show you what I mean. Excuse me, excuse me. Hi. Right. Do you do you speak English? Yeah. Oh, you are English. Yeah. Oh, I was not expecting that. I, thought you, <laughs> I, I, I literally thought you were Brazilian. Oh, um, thank you. So as you can see, I'm approaching on a sort of angle, and I'm saying "excuse me" so the girl can hear. And then once I've got her attention, I'm continuing to walk towards her, making solid eye contact, and then getting straight into the reason I've approached her. And yeah, it's always a good idea to say "excuse me" before you go into your approach. Make sure you project your voice enough so the girl can hear you, but saying excuse me means that the girl is gonna be mentally prepared for the conversation. All right, let's watch the final clip. Excuse me, hiya, uh, you look about to disappear. I just wanna say that you look really good. I'm Thank not you. trying to sell you anything. <laughs> I just, you went past, you looked like you were lost. Now um, you've got like a QR code <laughs> on your phone. So I just wanna say that you look nice. Thank you. What's the plan today? I'm just going to the theatre. Oh, you're going to the theatre. Is that what that big queue out there is for? Yeah. Oh, what time, well, what, what, what time do you show? Two. What time is it now? Eight minutes to. Uh, that's how long have we got? Huh? How long have we got for this conversation? About two minutes, maybe. <laughs> two minutes, all right. Well, I'll keep it, I'll keep it brief. Are you yeah. going to let me walk with you? Yeah. Oh, nice one. Oh, right, nice one. Well, uh, what's your name then? Go on. What's your name? Uh, go and have a guest. If you get it right. I'm not a guest. Oh, okay, if you get it right, I might buy you a drink. Ryan? Ryan? Yeah. Okay, it's Christian. Okay. It's Christian with a K though. With a K? Yeah, I think my mum wanted me to be like edgy and cool and shit. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Are you getting that are vibe you, off me? You, well, you, it's uh, up to you. Have you seen my shoes? I mean, come on. I feel like, okay, you know, come okay, on. That adds, that adds it's edg it. edgy as fuck. Wait, is this a theatre? Yeah. Fucking hell, you're quick at this walk, aren't you? Oh, I, feel really? you I feel like you're just trying to get rid of me, to be fair. Yeah, I'm running away. Well, listen. Uh, before you go and do your theatre stuff, yeah. the reason I've stopped you is because I think you are attractive. So when you're not in a rush, in a rush, or in a rush I would like to uh, take you out for a drink. What do you sure. say to that? Yeah. Have you got an English phone number? I do. Okay. You sound like Italian. Do I? Yeah. I'm not. No, like in terms of your name, oh, it, it sounds Italian. Polish. My mum's Polish. Okay. I don't speak Polish. Do you? A little bit. Okay. It, be, it would be wasted on me. So right. you, don't need, you don't need to speak right, Polish to gonna, me. Okay, good. What's your number? Um, you can put it in. Yeah, go for it. How come you got a mask on outside? Because I'm about to go in. I was right. getting ready. Okay. Do you remember my name? <laughs> Christian. You're good. I feel like you've done this before. I feel like you've oh, I feel like you've done this before. Yeah, deja vu? Yeah, I think maybe. so, maybe. Yeah, well listen, yeah. have a lovely theatre experience. Thank you. I will text you. See you oh later. Dan, see you later. Oh, that was swift.
Swift like Taylor. So this one is quite an interesting one. So usually when a girl is in a rush, I won't be walking with her unless there's a clear justification for doing so. So in this one, she's going to the theater. The theater is pretty close to where we're positioned. So it makes sense on this occasion to walk and talk. But I always advise my clients that you don't want to be in this dynamic if you can avoid it. You don't want to be walking side by side with the girl. You want to be positioned face to face, standing still, because it makes it easy to actually connect and have a conversation. Like when I first got started with day game, my initial interactions lasted about as long as the interactions that we've just watched here. Is this the best way to go about your business? No. Did it get me results? Yes. Because, I don't know, it's interesting. Sometimes just the fact that you have the balls to go up, approach a girl during the daytime, you've got these three key elements in your locker. Sometimes that's enough. Sometimes that is enough to get you dates with girls. But we don't want to be dependent on rapid number closing. Yes, it's cool to take a girl's number quickly if there's justification, if she's in a rush, if she needs to get somewhere. But we want to build on this basic approach. We don't want to just be going up to girls, opening and closing. We want to be spending longer in interaction because we want to learn the art of seduction. If you really want to become great at day game, if you really want to create an abundance of girls in your life and you can approach girls whenever, wherever, have crazy experiences, then it is essential that you master the art of seduction. I'm talking conversation skills, frame control, social versatility, building investment, playful polarization, etc. And if this sounds like a lot, man, do not worry. This is why I offer one-on-one -on -one day game coaching sessions for guys who are serious about making rapid progress in rapid time. So come work with me, learn from someone who lives and breathes this stuff. I'm the best person to work with right now in the UK. So drop me a fucking email, ukdaygame at gmail.com. We'll get you fucking sorted. So there we fucking go, man. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I highly recommend you watch it back multiple times so you can properly digest everything that we've spoken about. Make sure you are part of the Christine Casanova family, smashing that subscribe button, banging those sexy notifications on, and drop this video a big fat fucking like. Stay sexy, live legendary, ta-da. You stay sexy, okay?